Jerry Joe Legionated show FIFA uh, FIFA 21 edition um, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to be playing uh, against Arsenal I'm going to select the team that Leeds are going to put out today and I'm going to uh, I'm going to put it out on I'm going to put it out on my uh, Facebook and Twitter links so if you just bear with me at the minute I'm just sharing the links um, I'll try and figure out how to share the links um, so Facebook newsfeed let me see try to share to newsfeed share in a group on a page now hmm No, I'll not bother sharing it to my Facebook. Uh, but yes, so I'm sharing it to. I'm sharing it here. So the first thing I have to do then is going to change the team because obviously there's been a few injuries. So I need to put. Street off needs to go. In there, Ealing needs to go to there. So yeah, <coughs> Kevin Phillips is uh, has missed out today. He's injured. Um, which is obviously a massive disappointment for Leeds. Um, he's been such an important player um, since promotion. So Jamie Shackleton comes in, which I think personally is the right call. Um, so let me see, is that the right team then? So I've got Millie, I've got Cooper, Strike, Ailing, Alioski, Dallas, Click, Shackleton, Horace and Rafinha, Bumford. I think that's right. I'm just going to double check that on uh, on Twitter. And then I'll try and make a few changes to the subs as well. Don't know if all the all the young boys will be on, will be on the thing anymore. Um, just gonna share this right. So yeah, so let's go and find the lead line up. I'll try and get the right subs and stuff on as well. Just to do it right, because I don't want them and if somebody gets injured to be cheating. Um, right, so Casilla is on the bench. Casilla is on the bench there. Um, Tyler Roberts is on the bench. Um, Costa and Pablo. Costa is there and Lorente Hernandez is there, yeah. So Leif Davis and Joe Gilhard wonder are they even in the game? I think Gilhard is in the game. Put him in for Phillips. I'll put Leif Davis in there as well. Um, so yeah, so who else is missing then? So Jenkins and Huggins, but you're only allowed actually seven subs on this here. Um, so unfortunately, fifty-seven and fifty-five they are there. So yeah, unfortunately they're not going to be able to play. But <clears throat> so that's the Leeds team. I'm playing this on professional mode because the last time I played it on the the harder mode, um, I got absolutely humped by it was Crystal Palace, I got beat 6 now um, whatever the level up from professional is so there we go, press the options button to play so I don't know whether this will be um, much fun or not, I'm going to play it anyway and see what people think of it, see if it gets many hits if it doesn't get hits we'll, uh, we'll scrub it but um, it might be something interesting just kind of if people are in the lead up to the game so I'm just having a look while we're looking here the Arsenal team coming out so Leno, Bellerin, Louise, Gabriel, Suarez Suarez, um, yes, Shaka, Chabalas, Smith Rowe, Odegaard, Saka and Aubameyang so it, uh, it shall be interesting to see I think the league table flashed up there but it looks like it was the league table before the Crystal Palace game so maybe the tables are are published um, on FIFA or there but I'll see how this goes if we get a wild hammer in again hopefully not but as long as it's competitive I don't want it to be literally lost 6-0 at home to Crystal Palace never played the last day um, so even if, I, even if I don't win at least if it's not embarrassing you know and it might be a bit entertaining so we've got Cooper I moved Dallas into the defensive midfield I think Dallas will take um, Colvin's place in defensive midfield so let's have a look and see what I have here Alioski at left back, what a guy. Millie Cooper. Obviously turned down the commentary because then you can't hear me. Um, Rafinha, what a player this guy is. 
destroying Arsenal already here. Play the Ellingen. Could Ellingen be one on one with the keeper here? Possibly not, but he's got Bamford. No. That's disappointing. Quick. Chasing them down. So who's got it then? Cooper. Is up against Lacazette. I don't think Lacazette's playing today. When I read that team out, I don't think he was on it. Um, or was he? Was he playing on the wing? No, he wasn't. No, he's not there. Um, so he's not on. But obviously, I, I picked the Leeds team that's playing today, but I can't do anything about the team that the computer pick. Cooper, Millie, get out and get that. That's okay. So, Strake. I think Strake's done quite well now. It's a bit of a big test for him today. Um, but I think he's definitely a far better centre back than he is a than he is anything else. Let's see, Patrick. Uh, try and get Bumford um, in the position. It's quite interesting looking at this here because it is so. Some of the players actually do really look like some of the, like themselves on the game, which is quite funny. Like Bamford, you can kind of see Bamford running about there with that hair and the and the gloves. Go on, Paddy. There might be some. It's fifteen minutes gone. Still no, no. I reckon most Leeds fans will be happy enough with that in the the real game today. Um. Arsenal is the kind of team. Arsenal could hurt us. Um, they're they're technically they have a lot of good players that are very good, but they just haven't really put it all together consistently this season. So hopefully today is one of those ones where we can get the better of them. You know, it would be, be massive if we could go to Arsenal and win. It would be absolutely huge. It would be probably, in my opinion, the best result this season. Albeit, you know, Leicester's a, a higher up team, but there's just something comes with beating a. Beating an EM, you know. As you can see, my FIFA skills aren't great, like, are they? But I just thought it might be something that could entertain. Something in the build up. It's like anything else. You're sitting here and you're just choking for a match to start. So, obviously, after the game, um, I have an interview with Heidi. I think it's, I'm not, I'm not great with pronunciations but I think her surname is Heidi Haig um, and I think she's wrote a couple of books about Leeds so obviously we'll have a chat about the match but I'm hoping to maybe get an opportunity to ask her some questions about her books um, because that's something that I've really been keen I would love to I would love to write a book myself um, I've obviously got the interest in all the media stuff and like way before I was doing the YouTube stuff I've been writing you know, so like to do a book would be one of my dreams. But I'll get a few questions asked over. Alioski up in for a header, he's not the biggest. So who have they got? Smith through. He's playing today. I haven't really seen a lot of him. Thomas Partey, thankfully I don't think is playing. I think he's a great player. Um He's sort of struggled a wee bit with injuries since he's arrived in England. But um, I think once he gets settled and gets fit properly, he will be a, a real asset to Arsenal. So what else have we got? There's Jack Hollis and Shackleton. Yes, yeah, so we, Jamie Shackleton. I thought the options were probably that Tyler Roberts or Shackleton could go into the midfield. I personally would have preferred Shackleton. I think he would give us more... Um, stability in the midfield and I think this is the kind of game you want to be strong in the midfield because if you let Arsenal have the ball they can't hurt you and uh, the more we do what we're good at the better so I'm all for it that's bound to be a card that could be a red card you know yellow Bellerin yellow card for Hector Bellerin mm, did I take it short I'm going to take it short I think let me see, what have you got? Oh, that, well, that was a waste, wasn't it? Who have I got covering here? Like yelling. Now, this all came from my free kick, remember? Literally a free kick to me. And this is where we're at. God for that. Oh, God. That was ugly. Like yelling up the wing. Let's see if I think you can have a run at these boys. No. Nope. 
goes Rafinha fouled I think this time I'll put the ball into a box because that one was a complete shambles the last one Ooh, I thought Harrison was going to get there don't know if you can hear it but my daughter seemed to be having a sing song down the stairs it's not great for the old uh, FIFA another corner I think corners is something that's been quite interesting at Leeds because mostly Calvin Phillips has been taking a few of them and I think the corners really seem to have stepped up the gear since Rafinha started taking them. I suppose Enahan could step up the gear if Rafinha's involved because I do sort of think he's a real class act at Leeds. Just as I say that I think he nearly scored there did he? That was Rafinha wasn't it? Yeah number 18 Rafinha. Should have probably scored. Let's see you into a corner. Get your head on that, Coops. There's quick. No. As they would say in Ireland, he's gone for the point there. And Paddy put the pressure on them. Nearly at half time. It looks like Cooper's got an injury. That's a foul. Quite a, quite a good, well, hard earned foul that one there. He just sliced him. Put the empty them yellow card and uh, sure earned that one. Let me see, what have we got? We must be nearly on the blow here at half time. It's gotta be. Cutler's running slow, he's injured. I'll have to have a look at the bench then and see who I can bring on. I imagine I don't have very many choices in defence. Right, so nil nil at half time. Again, I probably wouldn't object to nil nil at half time. I'd be happy enough with that. Just seeing some final results. And um, West Brom drew one each to Man United. It's always nice to laugh at Man United. So yeah, one one for United against uh, against West Brom today. Who got the goals? I think did I see Bruno Fernandez score for Man United? Let me see. One one. I think West Brom took the lead really early, and yeah, Fernandez one one. Um, starts of the game, United had seventy two percent possession, so they'll they'll not be happy. They won't be happy. So, let me see how badly injured is Cooper. Right, I'm gonna have to switch him. What have we got on the defence? We don't have an actual defender on the bench here, so I'm gonna have to mix it about. I'm gonna have to bring Ealing in the centre back. I'm gonna have to bring. Dallas the right back. Um, let me see. Want to switch them back? Ealing and Struik. Cooper into there. Quick. Let me see. So who is my next best midfielder? I'm gonna bring Pablo on actually. I'm gonna bring Pablo on. I'll put Pablo. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that. That can be what I can do. So. Bit of a bit of a change required so look Ealing's now got the armband for the remainder of the game we're 34 minutes away from the match um, so it'd be great to get a result today just I would be happy enough even if it was a draw just to stay above Arsenal I really think Leeds could like I said I mentioned a couple of weeks ago on the on the YouTube channel that I think Leeds we're at a point where we need to look up rather than down and uh it's very easy for us to look down, you know, and say, right, we're not going to finish above that or whatever. But I think there's an opportunity here for Leeds to finish maybe in the top eight or nine this season. I think Europe's probably a wee bit beyond us. But um, definitely don't think we. I think the top half is a position that we could go, we could go for. And a win or a draw today would keep us keep us above Arsenal. Let's look really. Rafinha, Rafinha's away. Go on, you boy. Oh my God, what a terrible touch that was. Should have just kept running, to be honest.
So there's Shackleton. Plays it right the way back. That was a bit of a silly pass. Really, eh? Ealing. Plays it in the midfield to Pablo. Right. Ah, I thought that was. I thought I had somebody outside Rafinha. Nice bit of skill there from Rafinha. Stuart Dallas. Plays it away back, but let me see what we have. Click over the bar. Click shooting's been pretty crap in this game. I'd have to say. Who's they? What are they doing there? Bringing on a sub. Okay, he looks like Arteta. He definitely is Arteta's hair now. Smith Rowe off. Odegaard, Martin Odegaard on. See, he's starting for Arsenal today. I think that might be his first start. I don't think I've seen him starting yet. Um, I watched a good bit of him in Spain last year whenever he was playing for Real Sociedad. And he's a talent. He's a very, very good player. Um, he kind of he went to Real Madrid whenever he was really young. He was only like 16. But he's a time out in low and he's been in... Uh, where all did he go? He was in different places. He definitely was in Holland at the time. And... Uh, but the one that he's kind of mostly progressed at then was Real Sociedad and he went and Zidane just doesn't see Zidane just kind of seems like he just has certain players that he just wants to have them all the time and he's not really been willing to integrate some of the younger guys which you know like the team won him plenty you know he won him three European Cups and he won a league and different bits but he needed to um, he needed to integrate them boys into the team a bit quicker so we've got a free kick here. Um, but no, you need it to integrate all the younger boys in. I wonder should I maybe start thinking about some changes here. I don't really feel like I'm getting anywhere close to like scoring a goal. Plenty of the ball, but I don't feel like I'm going to score. There's a man I have a man for the thought. Good block. Oh no. Oh, good save keeper. That was my mistake. I'm gonna pause it and see if I can make any subs. See who might make a positive change. Um, is Pavera, did I see Pavera's back on the bench there today? Or did I just randomly put Pavera on when he shouldn't have been on? Is that my mistake? There's Pavera back on the bench. No, Pavera's not on the bench today. That was just me cheating. Um, so no, I'm not bringing him on. I'm going to bring on Hilder Costa. God, look at how hard Shackleton is. I'm going to have to change him every aren't I? Shackleton looks knackered. I'm going to change him for Roberts. Bring Hernandez back on. Mm, there's not really anybody else I want to bring on. Maybe bring on Costa for Harrison because he's probably really fast in FIFA. Not that much faster, but he is a wee bit quicker. So we'll do that. See if I can't do something in the next 23 minutes to actually stop this from being a nil nil. I'm pretty good at FIFA whenever it comes to just passing the ball about the midfield, but I struggle to get into the box and really do much. Normally, whenever I'd be playing myself, I'm playing three up front, like, and here I'm obviously. You know, nowhere near as attacking. Right, Rafinha, what have you got, lad? Nothing. It has to be said, Rafinha is by far and away in this current Leeds team. He is my favourite player by an absolute mile. I love the guy. I think he's fantastic. He's exactly the kind of player that I love to watch. Oh dear, here we go. Well done. Well done, big strike. Ali Oskate, no, well, yes, I was talking about Rafinha. He's exactly the sort of footballer that I enjoy. Um, quality on the ball. And uh, that's just something I love, to be honest. He's a mile offside. Um, no, really good in the ball, really skillful. Um, but you have to be said, too, um, I know playing for Bielsa wouldn't happen any other way. But he does put in a shift, puts in a hell of a shift, to, be, to his credit. Oh, there's a man over. Can I win it? Can I win it? No, um, but no, I think he's a quality player, and uh, I see everybody. They're all all the talk is this one's after him, that one's after him, and do you know what? They they can be they can be after him, and he may well go. You know, we don't know. Like it's all e it's very easy for us to say. You know, oh no, he's not he's not going anywhere. But 
end of the day, the guy's a Brazilian, he's come over here, he doesn't have any loyalty to lead as such, and uh, he'll do whatever he thinks is best for his career, but at the end of the day, he's got a good three or four year contract for Leeds, and I hope that Leeds aren't in a position where they particularly really need to like let someone go at the minute, because... I hope that if he if he does decide to leave Leeds and, and you know players come and players go but um, if he does decide I just hope we get what, what he's worth out of him that's the important thing for me and uh, I know for a fact he's worth a hell of a lot more than what we paid for him and uh, that to me is a good thing so we'll see how it happens but definitely a quality quality player for Leeds United there's Tyler Roberts Paddy Bamford could be through here. Has he got the pace? He doesn't have the pace. See, I'm, pre I'm pretty crab at this, aren't I? You know what? Oh, Paddy, you could have you could have been away, son. There's Clicky. I think he's offside. Nah, he was. He was. He was off him. Aye. So who have we got here then? Let me see. So, 88 minutes. It's 0-0 against Arsenal. Honestly, I'd be happy enough. If this ends up with a draw today, Leeds without Calvin Phillips, if we end up with a draw today, I'd be happy enough. But, you know, let's be ambitious and go for the result. Go for a positive result and win the game. Can definitely get at the Arsenal defence guys like bloody David David Louise running about. I just don't rate the guy. Um, quality in FIFA actually, might I add. Um, I've ha I have had him in the Ultimate Team in FIFA before, and he's brilliant to be fair. But in real life, he's a bit of a. I think he's a just a real shambles of a of a footballer. There we go. We're going to be drawn nil nil here. Hardly a game for the edges, was it? Hardly one for the edges, but no, no. So there you go. Leeds fans, would you be happy with no, no? Would you take it? I probably would. Um, we'll have a bit of fun, will we? Go to penalties. I have no idea how to take a penalty in FIFA, so this could be... An this could be entertaining. Um, I'm really bad at taking them. Tepe, there's Alioski's mate. Oh, keeper saved that one. Let me see what we got over my ink. Go on, big mess there. Rafinha, my number one leads player. Rafinha, another mess penalty. Another one where I just basically don't know what I'm doing. Ah, uh, sure. That is it. Paddy Bamford, right? So, Paddy, what have you got, son? Did it go in? I see him celebrating. It must have gone in. Martin Odegaard. He's hit it over the bar. I have no clue what I'm doing here. Hector Bellerin. Oh, he saved it. Have an opportunity to win this in penalties. Who is it? Tyler Roberts. Right, Tyler, what have you got, wee man? Oh, he's had it over the bar. Not great. Chevalos. Super save. Do you know what? I'm going straight down the middle here because I don't know how to do anything else. Straight down the middle. Yes! Obviously we can't beat them on penalties, but I got a win. Hopefully it provided something a wee bit entertaining um, for you. I don't think there was too many people watching it live, but I'm not really sure how that all works. But I'll share it on uh, I'll share it on the different guises of social media and see um, see if I can't do something with it. What time are we on at the minute? We're on ten past four, so I'll go downstairs. I'll log off and. Uh, 
Winner Cyan Sauce, that's my boy's name. That's my boy's name on uh, PlayStation. I played some game and there's someone that's sauce called Cyan, so there you go. So that's my Lurkin. So thanks for watching. I'm going to put this off now and uh, we'll watch the match. Um, hopefully, a Leeds win and I'll be back after the game then, I've got an interview with, um, as I say, Heidi, who hopefully will have um, plenty to tell me about her books and uh, give me some inspiration for how I can get around to writing a book at some stage in the future. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoyed um, what, was, what was quite a dour game.